Hey, what's going on, guys? I stumbled across this project called Actus over on Twitter. A few people in the ThorChain community that I follow liked a few of their tweets, so I went and followed up on that. It's got a very small market cap of 3.53 million, and you can only buy it on Uniswap right now. So I wanted to figure out as much as I could about the team specifically this early in a project. I feel like that is what matters most. I listened to an hour-long AMA. I went and dug on their website and through their Twitter. So I have some stuff to present here. Uh, do keep in mind, none of this is financial advice. Always be sure to do your own research and I'm not getting paid uh, to make this video. So I'm gonna share all this with you and then I'll give you my thoughts at the end. All right, so it's AI-driven quant technology investment systems. From their about page here, they believe that a reliable real yield ecosystem will make life easier, better, and more fun for their community. We believe in sustainable real yield as an alternative to trading or keeping funds inactive. And I agree with that. We're all kind of doing the same thing. That's what happened with Anchor Protocol on, on Luna, right, Terra? People are looking to earn passive income with their investments if they can. We believe in solid fundamentals, solid tokenomics, and sustainable yield through smart design. We started building Actus because we wanted and needed our protocol and upcoming products ourselves. So they built it for themselves and were like, how about we share it? Sounds a little bit too good to be true, but they have a token, so I'm sure they will make some some bigger money with it, doing it this way. Although their aims are ambitious and it might take blood, sweat, and tears, they're deeply committed to providing real solutions to real problems for their community. And they're striving for 100% automation, 100% decentralization, and 100% unstoppable real yield, which, I mean, resonates with me, at least. We're gonna get to the tokenomics here in a second and show you some of the performance that they have back-tested, but, I wanna go through the AMA because that's really where most of the information I got from was, was from, and that was from April 12th. So a couple things have happened since then that I'm gonna share as well, but I wanna go through what I found most important. So firstly, was their backgrounds and the team. There's gonna be two layers. There's gonna be the base layer, which has the AI and quant layer, uh, and they've been developing it for a year. So this, I don't think it's a grift, that they just threw together, and I don't suspect this to be a rug pull, so I feel pretty good after listening to the AMA. In fact, I'll put, if you've got an hour to listen to it, I'll put a link to that AMA down in the description so you can go listen to, your, to it yourself if you'd like. They've got phase one, which was developing, developing the base layer. I think I just read that. Phase two, product phase. So that's where they're at now, phase two. They've already got this built and they are finished. You may not have heard anything about this project because like a common one I follow, Thorchain, they do not, they're not pre-hyping the project. They want there to be no hype and they want the project and the product to do the talking. The guy hosting it was called The Architect. He was an early investor in Thorchain, Chainlink, and other DeFi protocols. He also has roots in DGen activity, although he said, you know, but that's not really that important. You've got the coder. 20 years of experience in web and software development and worked with Vodafone and Dutch local authorities and is now fully committed to Actis. Chief Quant, who the architect called their Gigabrain, MBA in Gigabrain and AI machine learning, worked for Santander, which is one of the biggest banks in Europe, and now he's at Actis full-time. And then Jatin Kalra, community lead, ex Chain community, uh, Mars Protocol, and also started Thornoob to educate on Thorchain as well. Aside from that, they've got a business coach with over 50 years of experience, core identity specialist. They have a strategist who worked in executive positions at Levi's and the mother company, and in talks with potential strategic advisor from Dutch Ministry of Economic Affairs. I don't think that, I don't know if this is set in stone. This was April 12th. I didn't see any update on this. And they're hiring internal Web3 lawyer as well. You're probably kind of confused like I was at what this thing even does. So if that's still you right now, don't worry. We're going to kind of get there. I hope I hope to make some sense of it. So the vision, what are they, what problem are they trying to solve and what do they want to do? So the good tech generally in the scene is between walled gardens or private institutions, or it's only available for the rich to use, like trading softwares and things like that. Much of the good tech is not available to anyone, honestly. Why would Actos share their Web3 people? They claim to have 
and, and I just added this, right? They claim to have that Web3 ethos. The question they asked is, what if we make the Quantech accessible for the crypto community, and how do we do that efficiently? Because the space needs a sustained real yield product. And one thing that they talk about is like inflation tokenomics. In the last cycle, you might have invested in a project and their APY came from token emissions. But that's not real yield and actually sustainable. So they want to create something that's actually profitable and actually generates a yield. On that quant tech, performance data will be released and it actually has been released. Uh, I'm going to show you that here in a second. You don't see hedge funds and TradeFi opening up their tech. That's why it needs to be built as a tokenized product. And I guess this allows profits and incentives to be in line so that they can release the stuff and it, it not hurt them, you know? They've developed five profitable strategies that work in alliance with each other. Decision-making AI chooses which strategy to deploy at any given time. So like, for example, you might go into a liquidity pool with some of your money, and that might be one of your strategies, but it might not perform the best all the time. What if you, and I'm just you know, thinking out loud here, what if you could take $1,000 and then this AI puts it to work, but depending on what's happening in the market, it's moving around your liquidity to maximize potential profit gains and then redistributing those profits to the token holders in a way that's not going to deem it a security. They are privately doxed with Certic uh, to get an audit. They don't want to dox publicly this early because at this stage it adds additional risk in their minds. And let me ask you, do you think that 7 to 10% APYs in crypto is worth it considering all the risks? Uh, hang on to that thought here. Liquidity in DeFi is locked up all over the place and is often just executing one strategy. Like I just gave you that example, right? You want to have many strategies working together because some work better at different points in the market. Like I mentioned here, Architect, right? He's the guy hosting the Twitter space says he would personally never use products in crypto that have 7 to 10% APY because that requires 10 years of waiting just to cover your risk or your principal, right, that you put in it. You want to be able to get your money back. And in crypto, 10 years time, what could happen in that in that amount of time? So 7 to 10% APY, he said he would never do. Up to this point, they've been self-funded with a small backing of their inner circle, even the website. Even though it's super very, you know, very simple, they've invested around $100,000 into that because of the motion graphics and they wanted to have a certain look there. They've been working on this for a full year and are very passionate and they're going full on for it. At this stage, they are trying to stay out of the radar of you know regulatory authorities, right? They just wanna play by the rules until they can get it 100% decentralized. This is what they're saying, right? They want complete decentralization, but before they get there, they're trying to cover the risks. So they're doing a hybrid solution between taking the regulatory steps before they can make the full transition to decentralization. Everything they're doing now is risk mitigation to make sure they can keep going. And I'll show you a tweet recently that illustrates that. Importantly, they're asset and chain agnostic. So it looks like their AI is gonna be able to look around on different chains and see where is the real opportunity to make yield and they don't care if it's on Ethereum or Avalanche or whatever. The value of the profits gets accrued into the value of the token through buybacks and adding liquidity. So it, it's not a buyback and redistribution of tokens to token holders. It's going to be a buyback and then adding liquidity into the reserve where they are getting the funds to execute these trading strategies, to my understanding so far. They don't want to make the utility token yield bearing itself because then they'd have the liability of becoming a security like we touched on. So not only are they going to be doing trading and executing like this, but more utility to the token is coming up potentially. And one example that they gave was imagine a, a, an AI where you could ask a chat GPT type thing like, what's the best trading strategy for this project, yada, 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 getting this kind of APY. And it's possible that their quant technology might be able to pinpoint that and direct you where you need to go. But in order to ask it questions, you might have to pay a subscription fee that would go, that, and that value would be accrued to the token holders. And this is the end here for the AMA, and then I'm gonna show you a couple other really cool things. They are not just a trading protocol. They are a general liquidity managing protocol driven by AI powered by quant tech. They want the system to eventually go 100% automated with AI, like we've talked about. And then he even said this at the end, which I really liked, right? We are not here to convince you to invest with us. We are just here to share our vision and what we're building. They want to build a product that can create sustained yield for everybody. 
All right, so they back tested some of their strategies, three of them so far. And this is the mean reversion strategy. And listen to what they say here. Our AI utilizes the best strategies for the appropriate market conditions like we talked about, since not all strategies work well in every situation. Some strategies only flourish in specific market moments. Simply put, mean reversion strategies are based on the idea that asset prices tend to return to their average values. You're like, who cares? And yeah, I get it, I get it. So check this out. They did some back testing, and you can go and read this stuff too on some of their mean reversion stuff. On Bitcoin, or was this Ethereum? When they back tested Ethereum using this, they total return 160%, return versus holding 207%. They tested it against Bitcoin, 109%. Then you've got, what was this one? Binance Coin, 93%. And Solana, which is 171%. And I know that backtesting in traders, if you just go and look at data, you could build any formula that's going to make that data set specifically look good. But what they talk about here is they had other data sort of randomly given to them, I believe, and they tested it against that as well and it still performed really good. And they have all that in these docs, which you can go and check out. They've also got a breakout strategy, so they showed the, they showed the performance on this. And look at these numbers. For Bitcoin, again, 872%. Ethereum, 4,359%. Total time exposure, so they're only in the market for 31% of the time with this back testing, right? But these are these are pretty good returns. I'm sure there's trading bots that do stuff similar, so maybe this could be likened to a trading bot. I don't know. I've never used one before. But the results are just crazy silly, right? So I don't know if they're gonna be able to pull this off, but, and that's why I would say, go, if I do seem excited, go listen to that AMA, and then drop a comment on this video and let me know what your guys' impressions are of the AMA and what they have released so far. To the tokenomics, there are 3 billion total. That's all there will ever be. Uh, Actus Protocol distributes up to 75% yield to the community, but it's non-inflationary. So that just, it buys back and then they dump it into the pools. 65% of the supply was stealth launched and locked. 25% reserve liquidity rewards. And this, this is uh, locked, I believe, on the... Uh, Uniswap V2 pool where you could go buy it if you wanted to. 10% protocol liquidity, uh, one-year token vesting. All right, 3 billion total supply, circulating supply, max tokens. And it does have a buy and sell tax. And the reason for that in the AMA is because they are not getting any funding for this protocol. Like none of this went to uh, you know, seed round investors or a public launch, that kind of thing. So they're taking the taxes from the market, and they are using that to fund the development, probably hiring people, marketing, those kinds of things. I used to be, actually until Unibot and I learned about Coinbot, I didn't understand taxes at all and I completely avoided it. But in the case of Coinbot and in the case here, I guess taxes do sort of have a place in the crypto market in my opinion. So if you see that taxes and you're immediately turned off by it, Maybe ask, drop a comment down below, or uh, maybe just look into it a little bit before you decide that it's just completely terrible. This was August 22nd. Today's the 23rd. We've been, great news, we've been confirmed that our endeavors are within the EU MICA regulations and we can move ahead with our plans. The final fine tuning was necessary to be future proof, which we are now. And maybe their web lawyer, their web three lawyer, assisted with this. They are located, I believe, in Amsterdam. So they're just trying to stay out of the regulation purview until they can get this thing decentralized, like they, like they said, right? Also, they've attracted a top talent as a core team member previously, the head of social media marketing at a successful tier one, layer one ecosystem. Details will be shared once onboarding starts in two weeks. So that's kind of cool. We're also looking to add two more team members for the upcoming phase to make sure we're ready for what is coming. My final thoughts, the AMA, I really liked listening to them talk about the project. They didn't seem rushed. It didn't seem salesy. It was kind of like, here's what it is. They also just sounded like genuinely good people. That's just the, the feeling that I got from the whole thing. They've been building since April 12th when that AMA happened. They've had these performance reports come out. 
Uh, they, they're beginning to share more. They are hiring people. They just got this, you know, this tweet here. They post on their Twitter. You can go and check that out. So I'm not endorsing it or anything like that. Again, do your own research. But so far, at least in my opinion, I'm getting good vibes. Curious to know your thoughts about it, though. Let me know down in the comments. That's it for this one, though. If you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video.